Gals, I'm coming to you from Central Missouri here, the flyover state. I, uh, I'm doing a distance learning class on brakes, and I want to file a disclaimer that I'm not asking you to work on the brakes on your car, but I'm asking you to identify the systems on your car. And I'm going to use an example of the two trucks I have here in my driveway, both of them are my trucks. My students know these trucks, they've worked on them. Yeah, they're 20 years old, primitive brake systems. I mean, by today's standards, anti lock systems on them are pretty primitive, I guess. But they still have anti-lock brakes, and that's what we've been our uh, units on right now. <clears throat> but while I'm under the hoods, I'm going to show talk about a few other things. But we were talking about the codes, and a lot of times I've uh, gone to call the parts house and said, I need a set of brakes for this truck. And they said, well, there's three possible options. Which option do you have? So I learned how to find out what option I have on the vehicles. GM uses a thing called an RPO code regular production option ford sometimes uses the, the fourth digit of the vent i believe it's on the door placard chrysler's probably got a door placard some cars use them in different areas different ways of telling gm uses a, the rpo code that's what i got in my driveway so i thought i'd show you what i was talking about so to find the rpo code on these on gm's the trucks anyway are in the glove box cars may be in the trunk area or on the door gonna go into this glove box open it up and i have a tag in here but i can't get the tag open without squeezing the sides of the box here and then dropping it down a little bit and there it is this is an rpo code that's a regular production option code and it's going to tell me what brakes i have and not only that it would also tell me what uh rear axle i have and whether it's a limited slip or not Tells you the paint code, tells you quite a few other codes, but you can see this is the two-wheel drive half-ton truck, my, my short bed that I drive. And I'll go to my bigger truck here in a second, but this is the codes that we're going to be using. So the information, there's a lot of information right there about this vehicle if you know how to decode it. Going over here to my bigger truck, three-quarter ton, 2500 HD, pull a lot of stuff with it pass everything but a gas station i open up the glove box pull out my junk by the way this book right here a lot of information in this thing i have actually read a lot of these owner's manuals when i buy a car these owner's manuals have a lot of good information in them believe it or not but maybe you all are in the information age so you don't need all that stuff this is another rpo code on this truck i should get a focus on it there you go so that code there will tell me what brakes I have. It'll also tell me the rear axle, tell me the paint, probably tell me half a dozen other things. If I decoded the whole deal, I could find out a lot. But <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about on this part. And I will get back to you. We will continue on. I will...